quick tutorials. We don't waste time. Camcorder versus DSLR, or broadcast versus cinematic, which is pretty much C-SPAN versus movies, but basically shitty versus tangible perfection. Before we get started on the technical side, let me show you an example. Me and a guy I know filmed at the same concert, and he used a broadcast camera, and I used a DSLR. So here's his footage. And here's my footage. You get the point. Apart from us having different um, editing styles, you can basically tell the DSLR does a million times better job. So why is this big ass broadcast camera doing such a terrible job compared to this tiny little DSLR? Well, you're about to get a listen. When you're buying a camera, what you're paying for is the sensor. So this is the sensor inside of a Sony EX3. It's a half inch sensor, which is considerably large for a broadcast camera. And this is the sensor inside of that tiny little T3i and also similar to the size of the 7D. The sensor is basically like the iris of the camera and the bigger the sensor, the more light it can let in. Because DSLRs were built for letting in as much light as possible and picture quality, it makes sense why there's these giant sensors inside these tiny little cameras. And this is a 35mm full frame sensor inside the 5D Mark II, which is the biggest sensor and the best DSLR you can buy for videography. But don't go out and buy one just yet, we'll get to that in a second. And this mammoth is the sensor inside of a JVC HM100U. I used to film with one of these things, and let's take a look at some of the awesome low light footage you can take with this camera. Absolutely terrible, terrible foot. Look at all the grain on there from the gain I have to put on it. It almost makes the music sound worse. Anyways, the other thing about a DSLR is that you can film literally anything and it will make it look good. When I say anything, I mean you can film a cat or you can film a piece of wood and it will come out looking good. I am not kidding. You can film grass or a river or more grass. And the other biggest thing about a DSLR, depth of field. Why? Because you have lenses. You're not stuck with one like digital zoom, which sucks. You have to learn about aperture, shutter speed, frame rate, and um, lighting conditions. It makes you a cinematographer, and a, a broadcast camera just doesn't let you do that. Instead of a flat, unsaturated picture, you get deep, vibrant colors. Oh, and the other coolest thing about a DSLR, because it was built around photography, you can actually take good pictures with it. Like, these are some pictures I've taken, and I, now I'm obsessed with, like, star photography. Tell me a secret. Now let's talk about prices. This sensor, $10,000. This sensor, 800 bucks. What? How that makes sense, I have no idea. But just to be safe, even if you were gonna go out and buy this sensor for $3,000, you're still so much more over the $800 you would invest in a T3i, if you wanna buy a T3i. Now the downside of DSLRs is that you buy the body separate, but it's all about the lenses, and that's where the quality of picture comes. A couple of prime lenses that can shoot good low light are probably gonna run you at most if you want like three, probably $1,000, but then you're still only at 1800 versus the $3,000 investment of the JVC HM100U, which is, again, this camera in low light. Now, what you do with that difference in money is you go out and buy equipment. The DSLR is tiny and it's handheld, so it'll wobble a lot. Which brings me to another really cool thing about DSLRs. You can buy a fancy dancy rig like this. Imagine how cool you'll feel with one of these babies. Again, with the extra money you're saving, you should probably go out and buy yourself some audio equipment because that is literally the only downside I can find of a DSLR. The audio sucks. But that's how it's done in the movies. They record audio separately, so you need to get in the habit of doing that anyways. You can buy yourself a Zoom H4n for about 300 bucks off Amazon. Let's talk about which camera to buy. The T3i and the 7D are both crop sensor cameras, and the T3i is $800 and has a swivel screen, while the 7D is $1,200, so I would go with the T3i. The 5D Mark II is a full frame sensor. What does that mean? Well, this is what your picture would look like with the 7D or a T3i with a crop sensor, and this is what your picture would look like with a full frame sensor in the 5D Mark II. The 5D Mark II does a little bit better in low light, and it's basically the same picture but zoomed out some. If I had to grade them, I'd give the T3i a 93% and the 5D Mark II a 100%. Is that worth the difference in money? Definitely not. Get a T3i. My name is Alex Harris. This has been a quick tutorial.